And we are back with another Beer Fun Twin Sales sent to me by my buddy Steve. Uh, this one is one I've had a few cans of already. He sent me a four pack or six of them, something like that. But um, yeah, been really enjoying it. This is going to be a Lush Crush Pale Ale. Beautiful labeling to it. Um, really enjoy that. But um, yeah, it's coming in at 3.8% alcohol by volume, 15 IBUs, so a session pale ale uh, brewed with malted oats, 60% malted oats in the uh, malt profile there, and then uh, Citra and Apollo hops, so let's get it poured and see how it is. All right, uh, we got the Lush Crush poured and it is looking absolutely beautiful. It pours that super hazy, um, New England opaque like uh, pineapple juice kind of color. I'm guessing there's tons of carbonation on it. I can't really see it through the haze, but the head's saying it's got tons of carbonation on the beer. But um, yeah, super fluffy, frothy, pillowy, meringue-like, bright white head. It's an awesome looking brewski. Let's get an aroma. Not much coming off the uh, nose. But uh, yeah, it might be that huge head on it. Let's try it from the can. Mm, wow. Yeah, big New England. Uh, there's, yeah, that huge New England uh, herbaceous, uh, fruity kind of quality to it. Big parsley, basil. It smells really, really good. It reminds me, at least on their aroma, a lot of uh, Lord Hobo's IPAs. But with like that Trillium New England kind of juiciness, you know, it smells really good out of the can. So uh, yeah, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Oh man, that's insane. Ooh, wow. What is that? Yeah, super juicy, super fruity. But there's this certain flavor in it that I'm trying to pick up. Um, something like a tart green grape. Something like that going on. Like There's definitely the orange, the orange peel. Uh, huge citrus, huge uh, tropical fruit notes. Um, I want to say like mango, something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, lots of carbonation on the body. Uh, speaking of the body, 3.8%. Unbelievable. Like, that is like a medium kind of body, not what you would expect at uh, that light ABV. The carbonation might be a little high, but um, yeah, the mouthfeel is phenomenal. Like, there's this beautiful, like, soft creaminess on the. Uh, um, front of the tongue, back of the tongue, sides of the tongue there. Center of the tongue is a little bit spritzy. But, um, yeah, the flavors, it's, it's reminding me of, like, kiwi. Something like that. It's just really damn good. This, this is one of the best ones I've had from, uh, Twin Sales yet. And that is saying a lot. Yeah, phenomenal. This is Trillium. This is, like... If you're on the West Coast and you want to know what Trillium tastes like, try this beer out. Uh, try out their Disco Nap if they still make that. Um, stuff like that. Like, Twin Sales is nailing it. It is really, really just a phenomenal brewery. But uh, onto a rating on this beer, I go. Best session IPA I've ever had, save for like. Uh, Stone's go-to, which is a completely different beast. But this one I go like a, I don't know, a, like a high A, uh, low A+, plus, you know, like a 96 right around there. This is really, really good. Uh, Lush Crush, let me know what y'all think of this beer. Any of Twin Sales' other brews, and uh, yeah, until the next time, cheers.